What's up, everybody? Come on in here. Back coverage, son. It, it, it is back to back coverage. Yeah. Make sure you Boy, I tell you, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the St. James Show. I am your host, St. James, bringing you tonight whatever I feel interesting, feel it's interesting, boy. Let me quit being crazy. It's blowing up in these streets tonight and all day long. Before I get into it, who do we have here? We have Kay Rich. What's up, Jacqueline? Jess is in the building. Praise the Lord. God bless you, uh, sir. Darla, sweet Darla's in the house. Yes, sir. She got a testimony. Yes. Giving honor to God. Show enough the head of my life. What's up, Candace? What's up? What's up? What's up? Yeah, you didn't miss tonight. Monroe Love is in the house. I'm out of town. Is up in here. Thank you, everybody, for coming through. What's up, Monique Maynard? Mayor, Mayor, Veno, was that Veno? Praise the Lord. Yes, yes, I'm in the house. Come on, Kevin. Thank you for joining us. Let me tell you something. I get up every morning and I have to be work by 6 a.m., okay? By 6 a.m. So I turn over and generally what I do, you know, I probably listen to someone as I'm gathering my mind and I'm listening to someone on YouTube, I just turn over, flick my phone, go on to YouTube, and bam, the first video. This is like maybe 5.55, maybe 6 o'clock, you know, because I'm never like on time getting on yet. Probably 6, 6.03, first video I pull up, V Terrell Hill with the title of the video i want to get it right i want to get it right the title of the video is disruptive truth silencing the lies larry reed live and then he has on his uh, thumbnail whistleblower I said, oh, my good. Oh, no, hold on, hold on. Calm down. Calm down. And before we really get into it, I want to just make sure this is we're commentating today. I'm giving my thoughts and opinions. I don't want to be here all night long. I don't plan to be here all night long. So I will drop the link, though, if you guys have any comments in regards to what because I, I know everybody has um listen to the video today. But anyway, the video goes on to say, what's up, Sarah Hamilton? Is is it moving in the background? I, it is moving, huh? That is weird. It's kind of, it kind of drives me crazy. I'm not going to do that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it plain, y'all, in the background, if you don't mind. This is going to be green. All right. Real generic and green. Oh, yeah. That was driving me crazy, too. Um... <sighs> So I opened up this video and uh, Vincent Hill, it starts to speak. And of course, he goes by Buddha as well. Um, that's I guess that's a nickname that he was given. And he starts to speak. And then after a couple sentences, he says that he was in a sexual relationship with Larry Reed for 13 years. 
I said, oh, Lord, this can't be good. It can't be good. You said you like the moving background. I know I don't want to make people sick, though. I think that'll make somebody sick. Yeah. That is a photo. And all I can say is, oh, my God. Now, I want to just go back a little further. Now, we had a discussion about, Dolla says she passed the fuck out. We had this discussion because we know that recently it had came out in regards to T.D. Jakes and his alleged proclivities at the Diddy parties and the alleged relationship, grooming relationship that he had with Prophet Manasseh that we never got any clarity on. We saw a text message, but we never seen any documents filed in the courts. We never got any uh, real deal evidence. We got a lot of noise. We got a lot of it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, but we didn't get a lot of noise. Um, we didn't get a lot of confirmation in regards to that. So I was always spectacle. Now, I, I don't I don't like to sit back and call alleged uh, accusers um, like they're lying or anything. But I think in the era that we live in, it's it's best that we get some receipts before we start um, accusing people of anything around here now. Just give it a little background before we get into this. Now, we all know that in the past there has been allegations in regards to Larry Reed and other inappropriate relationships that people have accused him of having with them. Now, so in some of the, some of the people's minds on the Internet and all around, they said, you know, we understand this might be something that Bishop Jakes may have done or may have may be involved with, but I think we have a problem with the messenger. That was kind of the general census going around the internet. We didn't want to disparage any, you know, potential victims, but we needed someone that was without spot or blemish to lay down the accusations against America's pastor, the black Billy Graham. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So of course it's been months and I think the famous speech of I don't mess with freaks, I think that came around at Potter's house around Christmas or so, and that went viral, and, and, and that was tragic because he shouldn't have said anything uh, concerning that. Because even Larry himself said that Bishop Jake should not speak about these things. He needs to possibly call him, and he would tell him what to say or tell him how to maneuver this thing. Then more accusations came out. Maybe there was another guy came out down the line and Larry told him well Jake's he put it in the atmosphere Jake's you better call this man by 12 midnight and at midnight now that was about 20 midnights ago or more we still ain't heard nobody talking now, if I missed some court documents, I apologize. St. James missed it. But as of February 15th at 7.50 p.m., I don't think any documents have been filed with the Dallas court, whatever the county is, in regards to T.D. Jakes. So we let that go. We saw some more memes fly out. We saw some more derogatory things being said about Jake's. And I want y'all to know that, would y'all like the video, please? I want you guys to know that I don't have anything personal against Vincent Buddha, Vincent Hill, and Larry Reed. Nothing personal at all. 
Larry kind of chewed me out on one of his lives when I had an old thumbnail up on my page of some accusations that we're speaking of back in the day. And I, I didn't have the video up, but I actually had the thumbnail still up on Instagram. So I was like, OK, what is he all mad about? I scrapped all that. That was beginning stages. I scrapped that. It, it deleted the videos. But it was still the thumbnail on my Instagram. So, you know, Kendall, you know, tells me where it was. I said, oh, OK, yeah, I'll, I'll delete that. I'll delete that. I deleted it. I was unblocked. I got back in Patreon because as I said in the past, and I, I, talk, I talked to someone this evening and I said the same thing. I said, I can get, if you're talking right, and if you're talking something good, I can, I can grab that thing and run with it. Whether it be Brian Karn, whether it be Juanita Bynum, whether it be Kimberell, whether it be William McCray, my buddy, you know, whether whoever it may be, I can grab if you're saying something right and take it to heart and learn from it. So that's why I was saying I was on Patreon every now and then I would go on Larry's Patreon and get some good nuggets and, you know, shake off what I didn't really agree with and just run with what I did. Now, everything was going good after that. But then... Carlton Pearson's Atlanta celebration. And St. James had the nerve. Calm down, child, please stop. My God, your drawers is on fire. Uh, dip in some bleach. Do something. Um, anyway, so I did commentary on the concert that Larry put on for Carlton Pearson. Now, not one day passed after, or it may have been the same night, I was excommunicated again <laughs> from Patreon. How dare them. But I never said anything because I was like, okay, oh well. <clears throat> but what we have to remember, we've all done commentary on a lot of people. And they just had to stew in it. So I didn't even, I was like, pass me a drink. Two times, P. Hall. I got booted. I got excommunicated two times. I got kicked out. So I'm out now. <laughs> I'm out now. Be quiet, Jess. We ain't there. <laughs> um, so. But still, I, no hard feelings, nothing at all. And I say all this to say, I mean, I could have, you know, can't all lie. How dare they never kick me out again. They kicked me out of Patreon. It's whatever. I mean, I understand. I, some of his moderators, I remember that night coming over there talking about what I was showing, which was a lie. I was not showing the video. But, you know, if they go back and tell Kendall or uh, Larry that I did it, then... They're going to believe their moderators that I did it. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. But you kicked me out anyway, but that's fine. Still, not bitter. St. James still wasn't bitter. So these allegations start flowing out. Still not bitter. Still waiting and waiting and waiting for receipts. Never getting receipts. But I did make this statement. I said, if you're not careful, things have a way of turning around. What did Vashon Mitchell say? Turning around for me. Sometimes that can be a good turnaround, and sometimes it can be a bad turnaround. It won't always be like this. God will perfect that concerning me. This is the part. Sooner or later. Just leave off the other part. I'm just going to keep it there. Sooner or later. It's not... And my thing is, 
And I'm talking about accusations, not talking about what somebody did or didn't do. Just like there were accusations against Jakes, these are accusations that Vernon Hill has against Larry Reed. Now, the things that we have to give Vernon Hill um, the credit on, there are some interesting receipts. Some call them receipts, some call them nothing. Maybe they call them nothing. But it's more than what we have been getting from accusations running rampant on these social media streets. Okay? Mm. Now you have those who are raveling in, the, in, in what's going on. Nope. No. <laughs> Do we have any winners here? Not really. We really don't have any winners here. Now, after listening to Vernon's, um, he's about, <coughs> excuse me, I think he's at 19,000 views. Vincent, I keep calling him Vernon, Vincent Hill. He's about at 19,000 um, views on the video. He has more than doubled his subscriptions from this morning. So the word is getting out and the word is getting out. And like I said, whether you like Larry or don't like Larry, like Vincent or don't like Vincent, um, what we've been presented with is really, could be damaging. Not damaging to a legal aspect. What's up, Lady Dimples? Thank you for being a member. Not damaging on a legal issue. I think what we're working here, and if you, if I'm wrong, you can correct me. I probably wouldn't care. But I think we're working on the hypocrisy issue. Is that what we're working on, Saints? Is that our issue today? That's interesting too, K. Rich. We'll talk about that. Remind me that. <clears throat> no one is saying that, I'm not saying that Larry did anything illegal. My issue is these are mor moral things that it was accused of T.D. Jakes, and now the story has flipped, and these things are laid out for you. It's the hypocrisy that we're, we're, we're trying to gauge here. Legal? No, no, no. Immoral, in some opinion, some people's opinion. It's the hypocrisy. Darla says she just wants the Lord to walk with her. Lord, would you walk with Darla while she's on this road? Let me tell you. People have gotten on the internet and you know what their agenda is. I don't like them. I don't like them. I don't like them. That's fine. You have the right to like who you want and don't like. But I will continue to say this. Vincent Terrell Hill provided some interesting backup receipts. We saw a pastor out of Kentucky or so, drunk. And Larry seems to be recording him. Now the recorder went off before he stepped out of the room. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming he stepped out of the room, but see that leaves a lot to interpretation as to what happened that night. Hmm. There was money that was 
that Vincent said he was old. And for some reason, he received a call. I think Larry said he had a dream. He, Vincent received a call for them to meet up so Larry can pay him the money. Now it was during the Vontre and Tasha K uh, stuff, uh, whitehead accusations. You know, he, he took it to a high level. So it was right in there. And we've all, see, we've always known people have always known that Vincent was like the co-host of Larry Live in the beginning. Vincent says he was the brainchild of that. I think, I think Larry disputes that. But we then we knew there was a separation. And even when those other accusations were coming to light about Levantre and all those people, we knew there was always somebody saying, where is Vincent? Because somebody has said, it's usually somebody in your own camp that's going to snitch you the hell off because they know where all the bones are there. So people were asking, where is Vincent? Even I questioned, where is that Vincent? Where is Buddha? Then I found Buddha one time on YouTube. And I seen his videos. I was like, okay. Okay, okay. But it was always the thing like, you must be careful what you say about, yeah, she, yeah. Uh, my internet is going slow. Uh, let's see if I can get this up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Come on. Is it gonna, oh yeah, it, see it popped up. I just can't see it, but I see it on the phone. One thing I've learned in life, you must be careful what you say about others because people have a way of pulling your personal file, Daryl L. Clark. Yes. Could, if there's anything that I want to just tell, could you really, let's focus on that because we can report things and we can talk about things. But the way they went after T.D. Jakes, I said, can't nothing good come from this. What they say? Is there anything good out of Egypt, out of Europe? Whatever that Bible scripture was. <laughs> <coughs> but I knew nothing good was going to come out of this. So everybody was saying, where's Vincent? Where's Vincent? Where's Vincent? Because I believe everybody knew that Vincent knew where all the bones were buried. And then voila, today, this morning, Vincent appears in a more forceful way than we all thought. So anyway, so he meets up, Vincent tells the story that he meets up with, Larry meets up with Vincent to pay him the money that I guess he owed him from doing some work back when. So it was around the time where the accusation, so I don't, and Vincent says it was, he, he alludes to it more being like hush money. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe it's just a timing thing, y'all. It's just a timing thing. That's all it was. He said he had a dream. Called Vincent. Now, Vincent is in the car recording everything. Recording everything. Vincent dropped some doozies, boy. He had Larry sleeping with everybody around him. Everybody, all the adjectives, all the paracletes, all the mediators. Oh. He apologized to Larry's ex-wife, Alicia Dunn, for sleeping with Larry while they were married. This is Vincent's account, not St. James. I wasn't there. I don't know who sleeps with who. All I know is where my organs are. That's all I know. That's all I know. And where they been. Oh, so there was about apologies. Then they talked about the guy that's running around now, that Lester. I think he's a Jamaican. 
used to be a soccer player or football, they call it soccer. And he said Larry moved him here to be his concubine, I guess. Made him marry Shamarco's ex-wife so he can stay in the country. Got him a car. Got him an apartment in Miami. Thank you so much, P. Hall. The super sticker does work, y'all. Um, <clears throat> K. Rich says, I don't get her angle to be quiet. Well, if you look, if you look at the dynamic of what we've been seeing over the years in regards to how that the relationships around Larry go, Larry seems to be the head honcho. Larry seems to be the one that is take care of, and he says it. He's responsible for multi families, livelihoods. So if you are depending on someone, someone that one person for your livelihood, for your family, sometimes you just shut up. And sometimes you just go along, get a, go along to get along and to spend along and live along, okay? I guess there was not that one person in the bunch, if the accusations are true, if, I F, was there one person in the bunch that said, you know what? Something ain't right. Mm, I ain't even going to linger on there. That's the thing about it. People are running around with fat theory. Even the guy said it on another platform <coughs> that he was, he was, uh, they, he married Latrice. Usually there's a marriage license, right? I'm in California and I know we got to have one and I'm sure Georgia has to have one or if they got, we're in Florida. I don't know. Thank you so much, uh, Connect Mobile. Appreciate you. So, Darla, I haven't seen any proof of an actual marriage. All I've all I did was hear that. So I'm not sure. Now, today, D Rock, we listen to Larry. Now, against against wise counsel, against prophets, against everyone close to him, he went live in public. Now, that would be interesting because if I was Prophet Archbishop Bernard Jordan, I wouldn't understand why my mentee, my spiritual son, did not listen to me on my instructions or my ad advice of, ad yeah, my advice of not going, saying anything public. So we're going to sit back and see how that relationship blossoms because he did point out that he went against the prophet. Kay Rich says she got screenshots of the marriage license. Well, y'all, y'all go, y'all go over there to, y'all go over there to, K. Rich and go get the marriage license screenshots from her. She, uh, she, they got they got them over there. We got them over there. Got them over there. Is that my girl? Really be TV? <clears throat> That's my girl. Whew. Larry's talking today, y'all. And to be honest. I didn't learn anything. I don't mean any harm, but <laughs> I didn't learn anything. Well said, you behave over here. You behave. And make sure you get your prophecy. You make sure that, Wilson. I'm going to drop the link in a minute. Don't y'all go nowhere. If y'all want to come up and just have a dialogue, have a, you know. We're not, 
Everything that we've heard is alleged. Everything we heard from Larry today, or you know what he said from, I mean, Hill is alleged. We don't know. We wasn't there. Now he had some interesting receipts. Can somebody type receipts? More than what we got in the Jakes and the Manasseh and the Christian Keys and the alleged Tyler Perry. Over 200 people, 240, and they got 60 likes. Y'all too much for me. Thank you so much, Shelby. Oh, there's going to be a great falling away, D-Rock. People are going to start snatching. I, I, don't, I don't know him. No, no, we're not, no I, don't, I don't hang with him anymore. I don't know him anymore. Well, we did see Larry yesterday post that Manas Manasseh got him a nice Louis Vuitton gift for his birthday. And Prophet Lovey out of L.A. Got, gave him $10,000. Ten grand. They ain't here playing with the likes. They playing with the likes really be. They don't want us to be great, but they don't get. They don't. They don't subscribe over eleven thousand one hundred and fifty or so of you have subscribed. So I thank you. I want to thank you, and I want to thank you. And you did that, and that right quickly. So God bless you, even though y'all don't want to like it. That's okay. So Prophet Lovey gave uh, um, uh, 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 Larry Reed $10,000 yesterday for his birthday that he showed us. Now, I, but you know, like somebody in the chat had put tonight in Larry's chat, you told Bishop Jakes not to talk and you're talking. Now, that comment was immediately, immediately deleted. They were deleting every comment that wasn't uplifting the name of Larry today. We didn't get a chance to halfway read two words and the comment disappeared. People would just ask simple questions. Did you sleep with Vincent Terrell Hill for 13 years? <clears throat> Did you have your lover marry Latrice? Simple question. Simple. They, I, there wasn't no curse words. It wasn't no, it was just simple questions because if you come on saying you're going to address Vincent Hill's video. We want you to address it. What's up, 106.9 Chicago? Is that what's your, what's your name? I think I know who you are. You do them shows in Chicago? If you say you're going to address it, all we got, I don't mean to harm, Larry. Oh, like I said, I've been excommunicated out of Patreon twice, so I'll probably go to my Instagram and I'll be gone. But we should have the right to do some common commentary without repercut repercussions. We listened to you for years, Larry. We're not on your level. We ain't on your level. We ain't on your level. So just let us do some commentary, Larry. You've already excommunicated me twice out of Patreon. So the comments were being just boof, 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 boof. But all we got, I, I wasn't, well, I couldn't pay the $24 because I was, I've been blocked out of Patreon for life. Um, $24. So he was requesting that you guys go to the upper lip, the upper, upper tier, not the $12, the upper tier, $24 to go to his Patreon for him to 
really address Vincent Hill's video. So 2,600, 2,700, whatever people that was on the, the uh, YouTube, we got a history lesson on how Vincent and Larry came to be. That's what we got. What's Pastor Wilson talking about? What'd he say? Did he say Latrice was a little strong? <laughs> let's just say that. <clears throat> now, listen, to Larry's, um, to Larry, now, now, can I, can I say this? Can I say this? I, I, I'm just going to say this. I'm just going to say it. I don't mean no harm again. You know, somebody said, I don't mean no harm. Or they say, and all due respect, you know, the disrespect is coming and the harm is coming. With all, with not no disrespect, Larry, the disgruntled employee, disgruntled ex-church member, it's getting a little old. Is getting a little old. I think, I think it's getting a little old. I think we need this a little bit something else. Because I told somebody, because when I, like I said, when I woke up, I turned to the wall. You know, the Bible says sometimes you got to turn your face to the wall. What, what, who did that in the Bible? And I got my phone. I flicked it open, and the first video that popped up said, Disruptive Truth, Silencing the Lies, Larry Reed Live. I said, Loose here, Holy Ghost. I couldn't even get out of my bed quick enough to click like and to go on in there and get to work. And... Hmm. I said, oh my goodness. This is, and ever since I did that, as soon as I got, and all of a sudden, not 10 minutes later, may, uh, it was probably a little bit longer, probably about 30 minutes later, people hitting me, emails, uh, 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 Instagram this, uh, messages, uh, Facebook messages, throwing me the video. Now, by that time, I had watched it like twice because I think I've watched the video at least five times because I had to get I, I wanted to get it in my spirit. I needed to get exactly the heart of Buddha. I wanted to, you know, just be where he was at. Now, like I said, this is Buddha's truth. This is Buddha's truth. We wasn't there. Like. Larry Reed said, he knows, he said it today. Has he stuck his peen in some in a man's mouth? Yes. Has he put his peen in a man's bread box, basket? Yes. So, again, where the peens in the bread baskets are uh, disrupted, that's not our issue today. That's not our issue. Hold on, y'all. Yeah, all right. That's not our issue today. Our issue is the alleged hypocrisy, the, the non-grace that was shown to T.D. Jakes Saying, oh yeah, he owes, he, he, you know, you need to sue for money. It was never sued for anything illegal. It was sued for money. <clears throat> and one thing I heard you say, Wilson, you said, if Bishop Jakes is this horrible grooming person and has done these horrible things to Manasseh and other people. Why would you still say 
Continue to support him. Don't leave the potter's house. If this man is doing egregious things and things that are immoral and things, and it was, we heard something that was maybe borderline, borderline illegal, maybe. You know, there was all kind of weird implications. Why would you say continue to support him? Shouldn't you say, what, what, about, about what? Yeah, yeah, he said that. About the peen in the mouth and the bread, bread baskets. He said that today. You may want to go back and, and see the video. He said that today. Olive Garden bread baskets. Red lobster cheddar cheese biscuit bread baskets. Whatever your bread basket, whatever appetite you have. So that's why it was very confusing to us, y'all. No one was trying to negate accusers' experience. And no one was trying to hang Jake's on the, on the cross before there was any deep evidence or any guilty uh, uh, um, verdicts in a court of law. We were just saying, could you provide us some receipts? That's all we were saying, y'all. That's all we were saying. Could you provide us with some receipts? Vincent, Terrell Hill, a.k.a. Buddha. Whether you believe the receipts or not. The receipts were telling. Now, Others have said, Buddha, why did you bring other people's name in? And what's, we have to really understand here. There are innocent bystanders that we have to consider when we do bring these kind of things to light. People have children. People are married. <clears throat> so we have to really think about that aspect of it. Um, and it could be a really touchy situation because Vincent threw out some names. There was some, uh, uh, um, some shots, some people that got some, you know, some bystander shots in his uh, lamentations on today. But I think he had to do that to make sure that he wasn't doing another Manasseh and another Christian Keys. You know, Christian Keys was so verklept, he would go to the police station and just sit, sit in the driveway in the parking lot, contemplating, contemplating if he was going to get out and go file charges against this black billionaire. Everybody caught a fade, Darla, today. Everybody. So Christian Keys is in the parking lot. <clears throat> and then next we see Christian Keys over there in Aspen. <laughs> On the slopes with the boys. On the slopes with the boys. So I'm going to say that a few people had to catch a few fades, Darla, because he had to drive this thing on home. He didn't want, he didn't want people to say he was Christian Keys or Manasseh. He wanted some real deal proof in his eyes. That's what I believe that's what I'm seeing in the spirit. I think that's what Vincent was trying to convey. Y'all see, see where I'm at? Y'all see where I'm going? Aspen. He was on the slopes, wild card. Before he went on the slopes, he got his black skin care line up and running that he had been working on for years, but finally got the capital. He finally got the capital to put it on the market. 
Ain't God good? After he got that up and running, him and the boys was in Aspen. <clears throat> so I believe that Buddha had to just drive that thing on home and put a little extra in there just to say, I need to plead my case. I don't want to be like Manasseh saying TD, never said Jake's TD, groomed this, that. Okay, give us the proof. Don't doctor up anything. Just, just, just give it to us. Raw. Raw. Y'all, y'all know raw. I don't really have much more to say about this. I just needed to get out. I got tired of y'all hitting me up today. <laughs> say, Jay, what you got to say? What you gonna say about it? Calling me on my phone. Even my friends calling me. And you ain't gonna say nothing? I said, I've been excommunicated out of Patreon, out of Larry's Patreon twice. They gave me the boot. I say anything, I know I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna see nothing, nothing, Larry, on nothing, my pay, nothing, I ain't gonna see nothing. But we've listened to you, Larry. Commentate on people we loved, people we liked, people we didn't like. So I think what's good for the goose is good for the ganda. Okay. You, I'm gonna get. You ain't gonna clip me. They gonna clip me again. <laughs> <clears throat> so yeah. Listen, listen, everybody. I know it's comical at some things, and we laughing about it. But oh yeah, I gotta do the chat filter. Oh, it's already on top. But we laughing about it. But you know, I just want to bring it because it, it's been a doozy all day, y'all. But let's all let's re let's remember there are people standing on the sidelines that are having to take a little strathnel, you know, a, a, a little bit because of all this. When people want to tell your truth, sometimes telling your truth could hurt people. And that's not saying you shouldn't tell your truth. But like I said, Larry says that he's been taking care of multiple, and we can see it. They all drive wonderful cars. They all live in wonderful, they rent wonderful mansions. They rent wonderful mansions and apartments. They rent wonderful mansions and apartments um, and drive wonderful leased cars and all that, which is great. The wealth of the, what they say, the wealth of the wicked is laid up for the righteous. Is that the, the Bible? <laughs> Dre G, right what you say, all you can think is these folks must not know God is real. Oh, yes, God is real. Sing with me, y'all. He's real in my soul. Got a lady who loves some vibrato. For he has, for, just, uh, for what is that? Let God is, yes, God is. Done, 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 and make me whole. I can't do the word. He love, his love for me. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, I like pure gold. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, I can't him in my soul. Oh my goodness. I can't. Oh, that's ooh, we used to church off that one. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, Dre. God is real. Just like pure gold. There it is. Yes, God is real. God is real. Real in, real in my soul. Yes, God is real. For he has washed and made me whole. There it's coming back to me. Oh, his love. 
His love on me. Da, 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 da. Just like you go. There it is. Okay, there it is. Gotcha, gotcha. Mm, mm, mm. He said he thought he was paper by to say. I guess he still is. I guess he still is. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. What can we say to these things, y'all? We just going to send up a prayer. We're going to send up a prayer. <sighs> if anybody wants to come up, there's the link. Hit the link. And again, when you come up, all these have been that Vincent has provided was his truth allegations. I'm going to stop you if you get a little too pushy. <clears throat> if you get a little too pushy. Good evening, my millionaire club. Let me see what I missed. Oh, there's my buddy. Bro. River. Rivers. Living waters. Rivers. Go ahead. <laughs> First of all, you opened up with one of my favorite songs. What did I open up with? What you know about Jesus? No, no. It won't always be like, be this. like this, my God, today. <laughs> yeah, Lord, that's it, bro. That was Sean. <laughs> and you I tell you, that's what I'm telling you. You know, I know Vashon had a wonderful song, Sooner or Later, Turn in My Favor, but it could be Sooner or Later, Don't Turn in Your Favor. So I don't know. Exactly, bro, because we were just on here New Year's Eve night addressing yep. these things and for it to have turned within a matter of what, six weeks? Yeah, 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 bro. Let's address this too. And people are saying, oh, well, did, 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 did the Jake's camp give, uh, give uh, a Buddha an uh, envelope? to come out. I don't know. And then they say, well, did the envelope stop with Larry? So he started back, you know, now he's talking because he, he, he don't get no more money. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know. Bro. I mean, well, I'll say it like this. At the end of Buddha's message, he prophesied and he warned leaders who were not walking in integrity that this is the year to not play those games. So, yeah. Get the vibe that a world would have come that strong against all leaders. Yeah. If it was a pay for play. Because I mean, he was just like, this, it, it, I, I can't, I don't know, bro. I mean, it was something about this that felt like it was bigger than him. It was bigger than um, even a lawsuit or. Or even social media, you know what I'm saying? It felt like it you ain't by yourself because when I listened to that, and about the second time, third time I listened to it, I got it. I, I understood something more than sitting yeah. back accusing somebody. Yeah. So you right. And you know what St. James? It was like from video tapes to audio tapes to audio recordings, video recordings to text messages and, the, and it's, go ahead go ahead go ahead no pictures all that and photos right and it was just kind of like there was not a stone left unturned and guess what i believe he still held back some stuff <laughs> isn't that isn't that the scary part because some some other people have said that and i thought about that i said i believe he's still showing a little grace Absolutely. I think he showed what he felt was necessary, like you said earlier, to convey the point he he called or better yet, he made that video to make. And you know what? I want to honor you too, St. James, because you opened up this video tonight with a very objective tone. Mm -hmm. You didn't immediately go for broke or go in on nobody. You were just like, we're not going to just believe allegations. Yeah. Until there's yeah. proof, you know what I'm saying. So I respect that because because the scripture that kept coming to my mind through this whole scenario is blessed are the merciful, where yeah. they shall obtain yeah. mercy. So like, and, and let me tell you this: ahead, all ahead, I want, River, 
his yes. mercy and grace. Yeah, something I don't do because I don't it, I don't do all things right. And exactly, do. exactly. And mercy is when you don't get the penalties that you deserve. Come and, on, the, and the scripture says, "Blessed are the merciful." So that means that according to the word of God, we all are in need of mercy, and we're encouraged to give mercy. But what we're seeing in this scenario, I think is what happens when you don't obtain the mercy you should, or you, or you don't sow the mercy you should, because we were just saying New Year's Eve night, when you're the ring leader and, yeah. the, and the main voice trying to bring down Bishop Jakes, and- You bro, are automatically bro. on the chopping block. You yeah. are automatically. Yeah, and I just think that the way this came together today, like we just said, it's bigger than just what somebody said about you. It's somebody yeah. who's worked with you for 13 years, when yeah. you was a pastor, when you were married, that 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 saw your wife texting and calling in, and he sat there and saw these things. Right, I, right. Like that, that's a lot of lies. That's a lot of making up stuff. And when he the, said, <laughs> you know, you know, it was just the things when he was talking about how Alicia you know, stole the phone. She was looking in the phone and texting people some things. And, you know, he said, if she would have texted me, I would have told her. And I kind of believed it. Maybe that would have been the day where it all would have just went, you know, just came out, you know? Exactly. But just think from then to now, I mean, so many things have happened. I mean, and yeah, I don't know, bro. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm with you, St. James. I like to remain objective. Yeah. Um, yeah. And did you know, and, and is it true that William McCray went live with Larry? Tonight? Yeah. I, one of my pastor friends just hit me up and said, William McCray is live with Larry Reed, that he went live with him. I don't know if that's true. Or not. I don't think so, because uh, William cannot stand Larry. Oh, no, no, no. My pastor friend said he, he was watching it. Like, since you've been live, he said he was watching um, William McCray and Larry in a conversation about this whole scenario. No, oh, I don't know. So, I, I, I know either, bro. I, I know see either. him on live, but no, Larry's not on there. Mm -mm. Okay, okay. So I so, don't know. I don't know. So I don't know if he addressed it or not. So if you don't know, I don't know. But somebody had just... Uh, uh, send me an audio voice saying, hey, bro, Larry's online with William McCray, so I don't know. But oh, anyway, bro, wow. yeah, so, what? again, I don't, I, that's, that's a ledge. I don't know if that's true. No, I know. He's, he wasn't on it when I saw. Yeah. All right. Thanks, River. I want them to get a little chance to speak, too. I hey, it was great hanging out with you, bro. All right. All right. I'll talk to you then. Hi, man. What's up, Wilson? I come to tell you God, what Buddha said. Woo! I come to tell you what Buddha said. I, I'm, I'm coming to tell you what Buddha said. This ain't Sing it again. One more time. Hit it. One, two, three, and. I'm going to tell you what Buddha, Buddha said. And then I woke up this morning with my mind stayed on email. Oh, my God. <laughs> when you let start me, saying that this morning, I passed let, let out. Let me say this. Um, Thanks for I the cash we, app, y'all. I, I think we had to stay objective because... Even though T.D. Jakes was at Diddy's party, mm -hmm. that doesn't mean T.D. Jakes did anything. Right. And came at T.D. Jakes right. and then this Manasseh thing and it opened a whole new door for Na Manasseh got a whole new audience of broken people. It's a whole new audience. And I hate to say it, but he profited on people's pain. That's how I felt. No, no receipts or anything. Right. I watched Larry Reed live when Buddha was on there because I thought it was a good balance. Uh, Buddha did the politics and Buddha was kind of like the level headed person mm -hmm. to Larry's big personality. Gotcha. But when Buddha left, I kind of left. And mm -hmm. I've seen Larry over the years just change. You know, it's and like. That's how, that's how long I've been watching them. I watched when Buddha was on there as well. And I remember it was Buddha, Alicia, and Larry at one time. Yeah, and I'm going to tell you, Buddha said a lot of things. Yeah. He apologized. Yeah. Buddha said, I want the people to get it. Buddha said, I'm not a hero. I'm a whistleblower. That's what he said. I'm not, don't look at me as a hero. I'm not that. I'm a whistleblower. Buddha took accountability. Buddha act like he, he was not an angel. He said, I participated in things. Yeah, yeah. I did some things. 
But did I, did, I, he said, did I clean naked in my underwear? I did. When I tell you, when he started showing them photos mm. and them, the, and, and the thing is, St. James, so when I heard that contract marriage, that really just. Didn't that just really. it. Wilson, that it's, takes, it's like it's like you're using your family members for pawns on a that a, takes a, it to another level. If that is the truth, I haven't yes, seen because it it's alleged, life. but it's also alleged that this girl had went through this in her own upbringing. So to right. do it again, and what really just blew it all is I went to King Payne to listen to Lester's interview, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. everything Lester said, um. Buddha was saying, yeah, yeah, the man said the only reason he didn't get deported because he was married to the cousin. But then he said he they, he's accusing Larry of stealing his passport. Oh, my God. Well, no, he's accused Larry of trying to get him deported and you get know, him deported. Yeah. According, after, according to Lester. And again, and after, according to after the booty got a little stale, it was time to get him back over the river. I'm telling you. And. And the pictures, and and I'm gonna tell you, I <laughs> I don't know what's going on with the good apostle from Louisville, but um, mm -hmm. what's oh, the really, one that was drunk in the hotel? Because Louisville is not a big town, and uh, word on the street is it is in a tizzy. It is in oh, a oh, you know, old Wiley then came over here. Oh, yeah. Wiley, <laughs> it, it, Wiley don't in, let up at all. What's up? Yeah, Wiley? it is in a tizzy. And even if that man didn't do anything for the mere fact he was drunk, that drunk, for the mere yeah. fact he was taking off his shirt, and then I thought you said you had to pee. I Is thought that, you said you had to pee. Come in other words, more, get over here and whip it out and pee. And then one blogger I heard said, Now, do you think he left to go out that room? He said, Now he did that and cut that camera off for mm -hmm. our benefit. According to that blogger, and this is his summation, this is what he thought. And then, like I said, these are his thoughts. He right. said that, you know, um, what's his name? Uh, Buddha already said that he likes to see people get undressed. Now, that's what Buddha said. But you, if you and remember, if you so, that man said, ain't no way you walked out that door and talk about something, you go into your room. He said, you just turned off that camera, act like you left for our benefit. That's what I the man remember, said. Uh, Wilson that there was videos where Larry does say that he is a voyeur. He enjoys voy voyeurism. I remember him saying that. Well, that's what that vlogger was saying. That, vlog that vlogger said that man was fan. And he <laughs> said, and he was taking off his shirt. And you think Larry going to leave that room? He said he did that to send them people to make himself look good. But he turned that camera off and probably went and watched the man take the rest of it off, according to that blogger. He was just making that because, again, people have said that. I, I mean, but it's the whole thing of how he treated Jake's and the walls, yeah. uh, all of these people, and then all of a sudden it hits. And these people are coming with receipts. These are not just hearsay. This man has you on tape. You are talking about a lot of stuff. Uh, on that video, and yeah. then we see, baby, they done read the um, text messages about that money in that dream. I had yeah. a dream. I had a dream. I can't understand how people having all of these dreams. God didn't show you in a dream that this might happen. All of these prophets and stuff. And let me say this: I'm not saying that that uh, uh, Larry is not called. I'm not saying that, and I'm not questioning that man's salvation. Yeah. But what I am saying is, God is not your do boy. God is not your butler. God is the right. one who's sovereign here. God don't turn on and off like a faucet. And we're using God to get gain. And, 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 and what really bothered me in his interview is um, I don't minister to the poor. Like I don't coach the poor uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, to the point where he was saying that you got to have money and everything. And he only deals with people on this tier. So whatever tier you can afford, that's how much of Jesus you get. I, I can't get with that. Uh, it's, it's just like, really, have we lost sight of what the gospel is? Do we not remember that Jesus came to the poor first? It was the nasty shepherds in the field that saw him first and they ministered, got ministered to first way before the wealthy people. So, again, I just have a problem. Somebody just asked a real serious question. How can a virtual church have a parsonage and get a 501c? I don't know. 
I come to tell you what Buddha said. That's all I come to tell you what Buddha said. And Buddha said a lot. And I and again, what he said on that, um, what he said on that, uh, 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 his 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 response was paltry. And then to, yeah. see, I'm gonna put it on Patreon. Well, why should you put it on Patreon where um, Lester and 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 Homeboy done said it free? Okay, so it's not gonna help you <laughs> at all. Uh, Wilson, hold on a minute. What's up, Jesse? You're on mute. What up, though? Hey, hey, what you got to say? I don't got to say a lot because, honestly, this is the first time I heard about this situation with Buddha. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I just want to say that I've been noticing, just like uh, Wilson said, I've been noticing a change in Larry. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. I haven't really been noticing the change until uh, recently. He done booted himself out. I'm sorry he got booted out, but, but since he got oh, booted out, I do want to say back. one more oh, thing. Jimmy Battles, yeah, commented on Buddha's uh, in Bo on Buddha's chat board. I saw the that. One thing that Jimmy said is, it's one thing to cover. They clipping us over here, Greg. They clipping us. <laughs> thing to cover up for your leaders. To cover your leaders mean that you hold them accountable. Yeah. Yeah. But to cover up and Jimmy Battle was a big turning point for me when this man had pretty much admitted what he had done. And all of a sudden it got quiet and nobody ain't say nothing. Mm -hmm. And so I think Jimmy Battle uh, coming out to say what he said was really big as well. So I'm going to let the other guests talk. Go ahead, Jesse. Yeah. So, yeah, what all I was saying was. You know, I when he started doing the whole Carlton Pearson thing, going at Jake's all hard <laughs> like that, I was like, mm, that's kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. And then when it, you know, when um, Prophet Manasseh, that whole situation, I started getting turned off at that. Yeah, yeah. And because I always felt that when Manasseh infiltrated into this, he was looking for a new uh, audience for his prophecies. That's what I kind of got. Yeah. Yeah. So I've just been looking at Larry kind of strange. I've been rocking with him since uh, about 2017, 2018. But here lately, something's been off. And then, you know, I know another Aquarius when I see one. I know yeah, we're yeah. bad liars. So, yeah. yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I don't, I don't fool up with y'all Aquarius. <laughs> Child, I don't fool with them either. <laughs> Hold on, uh, Jesse. Uh, Dre says, who is Jimmy Battles? Jimmy Battles is the one that he's a man that accused a uh, Bishop Bloomer of inappropriate things. What was it? Was he of age or not of age, Wilson? Um, I think they were teenagers at the time. They okay. were very young. And and this this young man is in Florida, as a matter of fact, a city south of Jacksonville. And so um, it's alleged that Bloomer would come down and he really was dealing with these young men in an inappropriate way. Um, they wanted to tell people, but folk were so enamored with these bishops that, you know, no one would believe them. And then Jimmy also said that one of the guy, what the, one of the guys who he knew actually um, transitioned on because the pressure and the guilt and the shame was too and much. They said he committed suicide time. over it. That's Correct. The allegation. And so yeah. this was this now was a hot mess. He and then and he he was really upset because he thought Larry was going to help him, and it wound up that it was not the case. And this is why you have the other content creator pissed off because of what was done. So that Jimmy Battle thing was a really, really uh, big mess. Um, let, let me say this too. I Everything is alleged, but one thing I will say is that situation with those alleged victims went into mediation. And mediation means that you agree to something and it doesn't go to court. It means yeah. you all say this, you do this. A media, a mediator, a mediator is not even a judge. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And so now you have the accused person of lying saying, I'm getting ready to reopen this now, since uh Vincent Hill said what he said. 
So that's going to open a whole nother can. Yeah, of I, I think it's, it's, that's exactly what's going to happen because it's going to start piggybacking. It's always that one that wants to that comes forward that kind of opens the floodgates on other things. That's why I was so adamant about we are doing too much without receipts with this Jake's thing. We it, uh, floodgates are about to be open and it's going to it's not going to look good. It's not going to be good. And I said that Jake's, you know, I don't, I don't know why Jake's didn't go legal. Maybe he just didn't want to and waste money. I, I don't know. But, but you gotta, you gotta remember, they were saying things, but it still wasn't anything criminal. Yes, you are damaging his reputation by pretty much calling him a hypocrite, but it still wasn't anything legal. And you gotta know that Jake's has the proper attorneys and counsels around him that are saying, listen here, hold on, just wait until we hear that smoking gun. Yeah, then I, I thought it was awful. And again, you don't have to, and it's really funny because people who were doing XYZ, they were accused of being Jake's followers. And I'm like, no, 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 no. But, you know, it got to the point, St. James, where people went on a wild rant talking about Jakes was dressing in drag in Charleston. Yeah, I mean, yeah. that's why they got him. And then well, he I mean, gave that's him. what William said. And I, I, I talked about the peach cobblers and, and thongs on no, my look, Not only that, but then they said that he uh, allegedly was inappropriate with a person. But then when you think logically, yeah. I worked for an airline for 12 years. I have flown into that airport in Charleston. And when I tell you it is a podunk airport that's real dangerous with the mountains, that, that, that's a city of 65,000 people. The, the people that Jake's were bringing in, the convention center can even hold those people. So it would be just smart for Jake's to move to Dallas where they have a yeah. major hub. And all they had him in drag. Are, he was oh running out of it. It was like, okay, and no proof. No All proof. of this is just hearsay. No hold, on, proof. hold on, Wilson. Brianna Anderson, she says she can't find the lie. Did he take it down? Well, baby, I'm looking too. It ain't on there no more. Mm -hmm. it ain't Maybe it's on Patreon. Maybe you got to get in that second tier. Maybe you got to get in the 12 or the 24 tier. Maybe they put it on Patreon, but it is not. And let me say this, when he got with Bernard Jordan, I, I had my questions because I'm like, this 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 man will send you mail. <laughs> Please don't get on their mailing list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, and, and I see the same thing. So, you know, St. James, I think it's awful. Um, but the difference between Buddha and this man named Lester is they have receipts. And, and, and Lester was in his room with a picture. I mean, it was it's receipts. Yeah, yeah. And then another receipt is that marriage license, I guess, that the person said that they saw because that's a receipt that this man married this woman. And he got a baby mama. That You know what I want? See, that's what I wanted to hear today. I wanted to hear, you know, listen here. Buddha told us the information for free. I want a rebuttal for free. Mm -hmm. I don't want to pay $24, even though I got excommunicated out of Patreon. I won't be going to see it. But I don't think, I think we should have got at least something, Wilson, t t tonight. Well, I got something. I got that you're really not trying to address those things. And my thing is, it's, it's what he didn't say. He didn't deny that he had a 13-year sexual relationship. Didn't hear that. He tried he to deny it. He tried to marginalize this man as a disgruntled employee. It's yeah. like, Larry, are you a supermodel? Because everybody wants you. Everybody wants you now. I'm like, they want to be my boyfriend or they want to be this. Now, according to Lester, is you had a lot of money and you were throwing around money. And that's what Lester said. Because Lester, Lester said, Lester he, said was, he was not sexually attracted to Larry. This is him talking. But he was he was in it for the money. He see, he seen this guy on Instagram flashing a lot of money around and he said he said, "Hey, why not?" But he said being attracted to him? No. But it, but I think it was said today that Vincent wanted to be him. He wanted to be with him. He wanted to be him to be his father. 
you know, he wanted to uh, be in the position that. So it was all about. And, and we've we've heard that before, Wilson. And let me say this. He tried to put that Eddie Long situation on T.D. Jakes, but it seems like it's him. Because if you if you listen to what Buddha said, and this is what Buddha said, he was prior with Shimako before Buddha got there. So right. it's like I go to the next, I go to the next, I go to the next. And when I lose interest in you, I go to the next, yeah. according and alleged, you know, according to what Buddha said. And this yeah. is all alleged. Yeah. But I just think it's really interesting how this has happened. Now, again, people <laughs> one thing he did address was his weight. And he said he back to his regular size. But, baby, I'm going to leave that alone, too. Because, again, it, it's a whole lot of stuff. I don't know if you heard um, on King Payne. Uh, yeah, I don't, don't want to get into that here. But I, no, I don't want to. But you know what I'm trying to say. It's yeah. a lot of things that, mm, okay? Yeah. And, the, and all I'm going to say is this man had a baby mama. He, the, the man had a girlfriend, a baby mama, while he was married to the cousin. Now, ain't that a blip? Right. Yeah. I I, well, I'm, I mean, they, 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 he said it wasn't a good marriage. It's a what I didn't like about it, though, Lester started talking about. But then what I didn't like about it, now Lester wants to say, the feds, the feds are going to get him. That's federal. This is federal. You know, who who said that? Was federal? Oh, that was Latusha's husband. This federal, this federal. Nigga, you was married and you agreed to be married to this girl on a farce. If this is true, you agreed to it. So don't blame all that on Larry now. Because Mary didn't, Larry didn't, you was a grown ass man. He didn't make you marry that woman. You like the money, you like the, the prestige that you were getting being around Larry, and you wanted to marry this girl to stay in the country. So hush. Uh, I'm, t I'm telling you, all of these marriages, all of these marriages just to, just to be close to you. That's what he said. Yeah, he said he wanted to be close to you. Just for a moment. Just for <laughs> hour. Take just for a minute. <laughs> It's a lot of just to be close and get married. And the thing is, see, I, I, there is a fine line between leadership. Yeah, you shouldn't have. You ain't the United Way. You ain't Salvation Army. Okay, you, you ain't Lighthouse Fellowship for the homeless. No, All you ain't the mission. Right? Yeah, and and then again, Buddha was saying that the wife was already suspicious, according yeah. to him, yeah. looking through phones and stuff. It, well, it, Larry it, it, did say today that they didn't break up because of any cheating. They broke up because of the ministry. The ministry. Well, it seemed like the ministry was kept coming home. It seemed like it was a ministry of laying on hands and apartments and apartments. Uh, and uh, yeah, the ministry, the ministry should have been at the church. The ministry should have been. The ministry the should have brought your ass home last night. Oh my God. It, it's just, it's just, and the thing is. Both act like nobody else ain't saved. Both act like nobody else don't have no discernment. And, and so... There's a lot I, of prophets just, around, but ain't nobody figuring out what's about to happen tomorrow. And this is the thing. What did your doctoral degree teach you? I'm going to leave that right alone. But anyway, I'm going to leave that alone. See, a lot of people want them titles, but they don't want to work for it. See, a, a lot of people want the title and the prestige without the work. And that's all I'm going to say about that. It, it's a lot of mess. And when he was talking about how the people were staying at his house and stuff, I'm like, that's a little too much. I'm like, that's yeah, a little too much. My, my thing is, I don't want to nitpick that particular thing of that. So, but we, but we can sit back now and say, we've heard now we've heard too many accusations of people living in that house. Mm, my God, my God, and all his apartment buying with the now again. <laughs> get everybody out your house. Everybody, everybody, get your own job. Everybody, get your own way and go on about your business. I'm telling you, it'll save a lot of my family. We ain't never let people, even in the family. No, you can't live with us. You need to go work and get your own spot. We didn't even in our own family didn't mm. have a lot of my family live mm. with us. Let me tell you something, St. James, too. Did you catch this? It seems like he was more concerned with his donors. 
I can't believe that you said yeah. this to the donors. Well, what Buddha was saying is that I ain't pay for nothing. All this came through the ministry. All yeah. of this stuff came through the ministry. That man's apartment. And that well, I don't know what he was cooking. I want to know what his specialty was. <laughs> he that man said he didn't know how to cook. Okay, okay. <laughs> well, that, what was a hot dog souffle? But I'm you know trying to figure out. But you know what else was a, the top that tidy house? <laughs> it's crazy, right? But you know what else? And I I didn't catch it till I watched the third time when he was scrolling when he was telling Buddha that he had a new masseuse and he was talking about Lester and he was showing all the, the pictures of Lester in the towel, the pictures of him and Lester sitting on the thing. You know, that was really interesting. Yeah. Let me, let me address wild card. It's not a theology degree makes you save. A theology degree will te teach you church and the law. So you yeah. won't get caught up in this. So when I went to theology or seminary, we had a class called the church and the law. And we were taught these are some lines you don't cross because you may get a lawsuit. Yeah. And, and it's not saying that anybody saved. The school don't make you save. But I do think that in this environment that we're in and all of this stuff that's going on, I think if someone would have really sat down and listened and, and, and people always think of the short term, they never think of the long term. They hey, never think of the long term of what's going to happen. I can do this now. But but they don't think about the long term, and I don't understand. So so, how many disgruntled employees do you have? Because it seems like you have a lot of disgruntled employees. So maybe yeah. you need to have a stop start and continue. <laughs> I don't know, but but you know what? And, and then too, though Wilson is like you said something there because when you really go for those doctors, when you really have to spend the time, money, energy for that, you want to protect that. You don't want to. Have, go through all that and then be damaged by a huge scandal, damaged by, you know, it's supposed to teach you the ins and outs, just not the exorcy and all that stuff of scripture. Yeah, people people don't go to seminary, so if you don't go, you won't know. You he won't know what he would have really. had to get clinical pastoral education where he would have to look at himself. Yes. And, yes. and, 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 and uh, I mean, the, these classes are not. I think we get the wrong concept uh, concept yeah. of seminary. You get all of that learning and you lose your burn. I don't heard Pentecostal say that to me. That's old school, back in the river, back east somewhere to thinking, yeah. And don't get me wrong. You got seminarians right now whose churches are towed up. Well, but and, it's not and who don't have a lick of anointing. So okay. we don't want to hang it up on that. Let me but tell you this. I ahead. went to a church and I was in leadership at the church. And and even though I was the uh, the music director, you had to go through leadership training. Mm -hmm. So we, the leadership training we went to, I think it was like six weeks. I think it was every Saturday or something weird. But they even taught us, Wilson, how to hug a female. Mm. Yeah. They taught us different things on how to conduct ourselves in the church atmosphere, how to, you know, and of course, you, you may get lackadaisical and you're you're human and you you may do some things that are not right, but it taught you at least they have the want to to teach you how to treat. And we got a lot of these people who are self-taught. They got degrees from their buddies mm -hmm. and they have no clue on how to really work their th their way through communication skills. And we end up with issues like this, that this they create huge, greater issues. And, and let me say this to you all, and I'm not trying to be nitpicky, <laughs> but a regionally accredited seminary and one that is faith-based accredited. So a solid seminary is accredited by American Theological Schools, America and Canada, mm -hmm. and by a regional accreditor. So St. James is in California. So that would be Western uh, states. It would be a yeah. Western, it's regional. Then I'm not trying to be funny, but again, somebody went to Boo Boo Seminary, of uh, the school of the prophets. Now, all yeah. of this prophetic school, but but the, nobody ain't tell you, mm, don't get me started. All of this foolery, yeah. people spending all of that money for something that is- And I don't mean any harm, but are we going to prophetic colleges to learn how to properly manipulate people out of their money? Mm -hmm. Is that what we're teaching? Because mm -hmm. that's where it seems like it's going.
Yeah, I, I think a really, really serious minister goes in to empower his folk to enlighten his people. I cannot think of that church in New Jersey, but during the pandemic, they didn't have major issues because their pastor taught them about financial literacy. He would have people right. come and do that. They had a credit union. People were getting jobs. Not only did they bless the people with a good word, but they helped the, the children go to college. This, 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 this ministry was pouring into people, not entrapping people, not entrapping people or endangering people or, or, or manipulating people. They were really empowering people. And what I'm hearing, and one thing that Buddha said that really struck me is if you gave a seed and you didn't get blessed, it's because you was doing something in order to be blessed and you need to get, need to get some more money. You got to keep on giving to get yourself out of that rut. I'm like, you know, the poor shall be among us always. That's in scripture. Mm -hmm. But but I I just I'm just tired of playing with these people um, spiritual lives and they they really prey on the weak and meek. They don't do this. In it, yeah, go ahead. Did you see that chat today though? They were removing any comment that asked Larry a direct question. Now if you and if you read the chat I'm well it's the whole the live has been taken down now but if you read the chat you had his moderators and then you had people just just uplifting which yes uplift your leader uplift but we are we are here to get some clarity on some accusations cuz in your descriptions you said you were going to address them but authoritarians don't want to be addressed. And I have learned that when people are not all forthcoming or they either will attack people by ad hominem attacks, trying to say you ain't nothing but this, you ain't nothing but that, or they will try to um, talk about their mental state. I, I see a lot of people going for people's mental and their past. But what Buddha showed was concrete uh, evidence that this is what happened. He just didn't come saying this out of his mouth. He came with receipts. Yeah, and, and, that, and he came with receipts. I hope that little bill don't get kicked. I hope not either. And we, but like I said earlier, I know Buddha threw in some names, and 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 he had to throw in some video. But I really believe Wilson that he was trying to really validate. He didn't want to be a Christian Keys or Manasseh. I don't I don't think he wanted to even put these people under the bus. He apologized to a lot of people, but yeah. these people had to, you know, and I'm going to tell you that pastor in Louisville, Louisville is not a big town, you all. Mm -hmm. And and that man is more than a pastor. He's a public servant. And mm -hmm. I'm not going to go into what capacity as a public servant, but he is. He Come on, Ray. I'm trying to be diplomatic here. Help me out. He has a public persona besides being a pastor. Yeah. Um, in business and in civil matters and le legal matters. So I think that that's not a good look. Um, but the baby the pastor came up out of them clothes like he, like oh, he was at. I thought you said you had to go pee. And the thing is, he traipsed a little bit. It's it, it like he traipsed a little bit to that bed. It was given like, and he was drunk. And, and then he said, I thought you had to go pee. I'm is, like, is that, that cold? Is that a like new cold? My, my old uncle used to look at my auntie and tell her, tonight's the night. <laughs> it, it is something else. And then when they went to Dubai, they had those pictures and, and all in the pool. And, and and you know what? I think and they were saying, did, did that trigger Buddha? I mean, a lot of things probably triggered Buddha. Buddha probably got triggered by Cassie, by Diddy, by J and he probably just started putting his pieces together. And from what I understand, what there's been saying, he's been kind of dealing with his own issues, trying to even lead up to really getting some freedom about this stuff. So it's been yeah. a while. And you know, people are like, it's about the money. It's about the money. Yeah. Uh, you know, it, it could be about a lot of things. But whatever it's about, I know he had receipts. And I know th those are receipts. The receipts he had, those receipts really, <laughs> those were not, 
those were recordings, people. Those were pictures. The, you had text messages. And I just think that, and one thing too, Larry said too, it'll be gone in five months. Yes. Because and, Larry and, always tell people how to do their situation. It'll be done in five months. But see, I, don't think I, I heard there. that and I was like, so are you being a hypocrite or are you not? I just wanted to know Okay, is he totally off base or, or can you agree to, like I was talking to some um, earlier, if I've been, and I've been accused of things, everybody has been accused of things, whether you stole someone, you lie, whether you didn't come in on time. Listen, I did this, but I didn't do that. I did that, but I didn't do this. I mean, can we at least get that type of acknowledgement? Well, I'm going to say this. A lot of people talked about Buddha being um, when he was working with T.S. Madison, not being up front about his sexuality. And yeah. I heard that. But Buddha was very plain and clear today. And Buddha said, this is what Buddha was saying. He was in a relationship sexually. For how many years? 13. 13. Now, I don't know why certain people didn't go to Dubai, but maybe they didn't have what it could. I, I don't know why. But it seemed like it seemed like a whole Tyler Perry cast. I, I, you know how Tyler Perry be having them plays in the movies. The queens. And oh, matter of fact, it came on tonight. The, what they call it? All queen men. All, queen all men. the queen's men was in that pool over there in Dubai. And some people don't have an all queen men's body or a look. Because it seems like there's a certain look you got to have to go to Dubai. Yeah, I, I, I think so. Everybody okay. ain't welcome into going. Yeah, to some Dubai. people are just some people are just used as a, a mouthpiece. Yeah. Some people are just used as a uh, allegedly. Uh, what's that lady name? A pope? What's the pope lady on How to Get Away? Not How to Get Away, but um, what's her name? Uh, Olivia, the, pope. Olivia Pope. Some people are used as Olivia Pope. Mm. That's all I'm gonna say. So uh, why Buddha? Why? But but my thing is maybe Buddha is got it got tired of the. I mean sometimes people want you to go along to get along, and some people really have a conscience and say I'm not gonna allow you to do this. You've talked about all of these people. You've done this. You've done this. And and now I'm and it and it took a lot, you all, because not only did he have to apologize, he had to apologize to those women. Yeah. Uh, according to Buddha, he was dealing with. Larry, according to Buddha, allegedly, when Larry was still with his wife. So how do you do? And this is why Buddha said, I am not a hero. I'm just a whistleblower. You know, it was so many nuggets that he said that were really just made his him a little bit more credible. He wasn't trying to act like he was an angel. Yeah. He said, yeah, me and Shamako did X, Y, Z. And talked yeah. about it. He said he was he grabbing on me. We was naked. He was jacking off on FaceTime and okay. blah, blah, blah. Oh my God. I was in his house was, in my underwear. And, he, and was, he was telling on him too. See, that's a whole nother thing. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Drug dealers like to hang out with other drug dealers. They don't like to hang around sober people because sober people gonna tell it. But see, if you got it. everybody to drink. See, now, now you can't say nothing. But maybe <laughs> everybody to smoke a little, uh, sniff a little bit of this coke. Everybody, I need, you, I need you. And, and and it seems like Buddha said that he walked away. See, now that's another thing. Buddha said he ended it. Right. And it got well, to the point, according to Buddha, that he demanded it. But Larry was debunking. Now that's one thing that he said. He said, "Well, then he said no. He was fine." But he said, "Oh, I'll talk about it in Patreon." I don't know if anybody in the chat was in the Patreon and wants to share any uh, nuggets that you may have um, heard today. But you are uh, more than happy only if you are in Patreon and you have some nuggets. But and, uh, and even even Lester said that when he found out that his baby mama was pregnant, that he stopped it. And that's right. when you get a problem. I mean, it's just, it's, I mean, the story. I Lester, you know what Lester gave me, though? Lester gives me a typical fluid type of male who kind of, you know, because he said Larry wasn't his first guy that he messed with. 
So we can't we can't say that Larry groomed him because no. he did say Larry was not his first. But Larry brought him on as a cook, and the man couldn't cook. <laughs> see that that see that's the real deal. Now let me say one thing. And paid him a salary. Know. The man Lester, said Lester, everybody want to act like Lester was poor. Lester was a professional soccer player. Yeah, Lester had a little change. It wasn't like Lester was destitute. He had a little change. I just want to say that because yeah. Lester was a professional football player and he was well known. And and again, he was probably like an NFL player to the United States, what he is to the Caribbean and in yes, Europe. Definitely. Because so he, he is made well known before. I mean, we're listening to his story. That's what he says. He made he's made millions before. You know his last name because somebody was looking. Uh, because you know, because you, if you know, his I name, can't remember what it was. I can't. But if he, he would be on. He would be on as a football player. He would be on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't know Wilson. I mean, I I, I just wanted to hop on here and give my little commentary in regards to it. Like I said in the beginning, I don't have a dog in the fight. I don't know if, if Vincent is telling the truth. I don't know what Larry did. Larry said he put his peen in another man's mouth in, in bread basket. He said that today. Did you hear him say that? Because I did. Oh, oh, yeah. I see him. I see him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I what I'm him. saying, you know, we're just, we're, what, what's the song you say? You just, you came to I come to tell you what Buddha said. Oh, Lord. Okay. I'm looking now. Oh, yeah. This man. Okay. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. What's him, that? What's he doing? This him. He's a soccer player. What's this his man name? Is internationally known. Y yeah, yeah. He's very much internationally known. He's a football player. Born Larry, in Trinidad and Tobago. Larry said Lester is not his type. Uh, I don't believe that. I don't believe uh, that. I don't believe that. I don't believe that. You hired the man. How you going to hire a cook who can't cook? What, what, what? See, you know, that's what I'm saying. And then we're wrong for doubting some obvious issues. We the wrong one. We horrible. Oh, we, need no. to we need to get dragged. Ain't, ain't this something, St. James, though? <laughs> we wrong because we question y'all with y'all scant receipts. Yeah. These receipts that can't hold no water. But then you call us foolish. You call us ignorant. But then when we see receipts, pictures, we hear recordings and we see text messages. Yeah. Then we all wrong and we jumping on it. I, I, I don't get that. I don't get that because they didn't have concrete evidence. And the thing is, it's about having concrete evidence. It's not about if I like you or not, if I don't like you or not. It's not even the case of liking yeah. somebody. Buddha had concrete evidence. Even Lester had pictures. Okay, this man had pictures. He would. He had a video of him sitting in Larry's room <laughs> with his jewelry on and with the African stuff in the background. Okay, so what? What? What that is? What that is? What that is? I. I did, did we see Manasseh in TD Jakes' room? I, I, I'm just asking because they act like that they had it, and I'm just being real with this. And then we make the look stupid and da 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 and. And, and I think it's I think people are not surprised of what they are learning. I think the thing is that you're so bold to point fingers at other people. Like you said, we all fall short. But yeah. my thing is you haven't given that man the benefit of the doubt. And, and you all are really acting like this man has done this. I'm talking about Jake's now. But then when we see evidence and people are bringing stuff out and, and the sad part about it is. Because of Buddha's statements. You may have to go back to court. Well, you may and that's deep. And see, see, TD Jakes, and you heard me say this, St. James. If TD Jakes did all of this stuff, mm -hmm. then go ahead and go to the police, file the report, and let's deal with it. Yeah. No one dealt with it. But all you heard them say is money. All you heard of them talking about. All I about heard was say he, 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 Larry was saying, oh, he deserves money. That guy deserves money. Manasseh deserves money. This third guy deserves. I never heard anything about filing a lawsuit to 
really pop. And then and Manasseh never said out. that TD Jakes did it. He's and not I, to this day to say TD Jakes did it. It was all Reed saying this. Manasseh ain't say nothing. Manasseh talked about grooming and he talked about all of this stuff, but you never heard his name said. I'm gonna say this. And you talked about Christian Keys and, and everything. Mm -hmm. I, I'm really disappointed. But thank God for the women. Because when Paula Abdul said she was essayed, she yeah. filed the report. Babe, she found a report. And have we heard from Paula Abdul? Is, or is she on Beverly Hills uh, shopping at uh, St. Laurent? Okay. And Cassie turned in evidence. Hmm. And oh, oh, now St. James, I ain't trying to be a little messy, but I just did. Baby, I don't know what's going on with um, them two celebrities. People say they've been living separate lives for a long time. Ooh. And they, the baby, they sit now. This has come out. And what's that man named? The light skinned dude who gay and he always in mess. Oh, what's that man named? Oh, God. He, he has a show. Oh, I can't think of his name right now. But the bottom line is they're saying that it's alleged that Jay Z and Beyonce, mm -hmm. yeah, they're having some issues. And well, I they mean, said, none of that surprises me. Because hold on, they said that Beyonce is trying to go left now because this Jay Z thing with the the Diddy and all of these people may come up. So mm -hmm. I'm just and uh huh and mm, so anyway, well, Diddy wasn't over there partying by himself, and he ain't yeah. the only one at the freak freak offs. Yeah, I tell you, it's a lot going on. It seems like 2024 is the year of receipts. People are not coming with this, my word against your word. And yeah, yeah. It, it, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. Um, before I leave, did you see Miss Willis? Did you see Fonnie Willis cut up in that courtroom? <laughs> Baby, Fonnie Willis is not this, playing with I the I was so engulfed in this with getting all this stuff. Jason Lee. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's, that's his name, yeah, Jason Lee. Mm -hmm. like Wendy Jetter had said it earlier. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but baby, funny Willis is not playing with these girls. Yeah. She said, I'm not the one who's on trial. Okay, funny, let them know. Funny mm -hmm. said, I carry cash. She said, I got to negotiate when I go to the park. <laughs> I know that's right. Baby, she was not playing. And then she told that white man, she said, Who you talking to? She said, Please don't talk to me that way. <laughs> right. Baby, she's not playing. We'll have to get into that live. Anyway, you know. Thank you for letting me up, St. James. Thank Always you, Wilson. Pleasure. All right, you take care. Bye. Bye. What's up, man? It has been wild, wild, and more wild. Like I said in the beginning, y'all, I was just here to talk about it. Vernon Terrell Hill presented a very scathing case today with receipts. We listened to Larry address it and nothing really was addressed. So we didn't get any closure on that end. Maybe if you felt you got closure and you're good with it, then God bless you and you're good with it. Me personally, I don't feel not that anything is owed to me. He don't he don't have to tell us anything. I mean, that's he grown and what have, everybody was grown, you know, that uh, uh, Hill was talking about. So there was no accusations on Hill's part of any anything appropriate with anybody under age. Everybody was legal, you know that Hill talked about. Now he did he Hill uh, uh, Buddha said he wasn't he didn't know about the Levantre thing, so he couldn't he couldn't confirm that. But he did say he talked to Levantre after Levantre came out because some of the things he was saying about the new underwear and the the uh, 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 cleaning, walking around in underwear. He he can relate to that because Buddha said that was some things that, you know, Larry would have him do. So I don't know. I don't know. It is what it is. Um, let me see. What did Connie say? What Connie at? Miss Tito, if she going down to. Yeah, I think Fanny going down, y'all. She, she got that golden peen, and I think she chose that peen over Trump. And she should have left that peen right along, right or went out of her office to track down some. I think that's what she should have did. But old Fanny, we gonna deal with Fanny too. So I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, Vincent. Did I say Vernon again? I always say Vernon. 
Whew. YouTube been on fire all day long, P. Hall. But hey, it is what it is. Golden peen. Yes, yes. She should have left it all the way alone. So if anybody, if you'd like to support the channel, I really would appreciate that. This is um, my cash app there. Is it going to pop up? This thing is getting on my nerves, getting on my nerves. Is it going to pop up? Maybe. I don't know. Oh, it was at the bottom. Okay, let me. Um, I'm going to change that. I don't want it to scroll. There's a cash app there if you would like to support the channel. Thank you so much. If you are have not subscribed, please, please, please subscribe. We are. Where are we at? Man, we are trucking right along. We are like almost to 1,200, uh, 11,200 actually. Almost to 11,200 subscribers. There is the cash app. And if you would like to do Zelle, Zelle is there also. And some of you, many of you like to email me. That's also my email, the St. James Show at att.net. You can uh, reach me there as well. All right. So please, please make sure that you are liking, subscribing, join. You can join the St. James Show. I am actually going to do the giveaway. <sighs> Probably this week. I have to go out of town this week, but I think I'm still going to hop on live while I'm out of town. Um, so I want to, and I want to do something a little different. I was going to do one person $50 a month, but I think I'm going to do two people 25. I would rather do that. I mean, the subscription is only $2.99 or $5.99. So, and I was going to give y'all just $50. I would rather split it up. And do 25, 25. So for the month of January and February, we'll have four people I'll be drawing. I'm going to draw all at one time. And I'll text you. Uh, I mean, I'll, I'll cash up you your stuff right there, okay? I would rather do it like that. I just want to give more of the supporters a chance to win a little something. That's all. Uh, let's see. Thanks for not putting <laughs> what you say. Thanks for not putting the rest of the discussion on Patreon. No, we not go. <laughs> Put this discussion on Patreon, on the, on the members only, none of that. No. Mm -mm. Thank you so much, uh, Wendy. Appreciate you, uh, uh, baby. Shook, 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 shook. But you know what? Everybody needs a little shaking every now and then because we have to realize that we are human and we are not, we are not above reproach. Not, I'm not saying he did anything wrong. I'm just making a statement. None of us are beyond reproach. Thank you so much, saints, my saints of the St. James Show. You have been a blessing. You have been uh, a great uh, support of the St. James Show. Each and every one of you for commenting in the chat. I really appreciate you, Tondra, uh, uh, P. Hall. <clears throat> mental vibes, all of you guys, too many to name tonight. I appreciate you. We almost had 400 in the chat and I really, and that's a really good thing. So thank you so much. Everybody have a great junior Friday because tomorrow is Friday and it's Friday already on the East coast. So it is Friday hump day, three day weekend, everybody off president's day or whatever day we got one in white folk days, we off on Monday. So, um, we got a three day weekend. And I'm going to pop up somewhere this weekend. I'm going to come live, all right? I'm on another mission, y'all. I'm on a mission. I'm on a mission to bring you great content. Peace apostolic. Fret not thyself because of evil doors. Because in due season, you will reap. But you ain't going to reap. The only way you're going to reap, if you faint not, I'll be right with you, peace apostolic, because we're still on the neck of Priscilla, Tammy, all right? We're just waiting on the judge. But you know what? Here come the judge. Here come the judge. If you never forget, if you don't remember anything from tonight, remember that God will do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we can ever ask or think. God bless you, everybody. You got 60 more seconds. If you're going to do it, do it.
Jesus. Oh, 